Hi guys, good afternoon. Well, it's afternoon here. So what do we have here? This thing is an emergency signal column. It's like a light, it's a column. Good afternoon, guys. Hello. Well, ah, let me take my helmet off first. It's quite hot. Anyway, I'm in the emergency generator room. So it's safe here to take off my helmet. I put my jacket at the side. It's really hot. So let's do a quick one. Uh, what do we have right here? This one is called as the signal light column. There will be several of these in the engine room. And these things have different kind of lights here. You can see all of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is very common on all ships. This is called as a signal light column. When you're in the engine room, you get all alarms and all sort of noises. Sometimes you can't hear uh, what exact announcement or what exact alarm it is. This guy will help you identify each and every one. If there's a sound and there's a light going for this one, that means it's the engine room telephone. This one is any alarm in the engine room. That indicates a machinery alarm. So I need to head to the control room and look at what machinery alarm is that. This one, the dead person, the sleeping person is a dead man alarm. I hope you guys know what a dead man alarm is. A dead man alarm is a switch that we turn on once an engineer goes down to the engine room alone in the unmanned periods. So this alarm will keep ringing after 10 minutes of its first activation and it will ring only at the signal columns and in the engine room alone. So when the engineer is around, he's taking his, uh, he's doing his routines, he just accepts or presses the reset button on this dead man alarm, which resets the timer. So after 10 minutes, this will start ringing again and the guy resets the alarm. Once all is done, he can go back out of the engine room, switch off the dead man alarm and go. And in case of an emergency that the engineer goes down and actually falls down, we have a man down in that case, he won't be able to reset this alarm. And after another set period for, for about another five minutes or so, the bigger alarm in the bridge in the engineer's cabin will go off and which actually means we have a man down and we need to go and rescue the guy out of there. This, it says GAS, so of course it's gas, anything related to gas. This W with a spray on top, this is when your hypermist is activated. So any spray, any hypermist activated, this guy will go off. CO2 alarm. If there's a CO2 alarm in this room, there is a CO2 alarm in this emergency generator room. Then this one will go off. This one is any fire alarm. And this last green one, it looks like a lifeboat. Yes, you're right. So that will like that is your lifeboat and general alarm. Let's do a function test. System repair. System repair. Oh, system okay. I have never heard this one before. But anyway. As you can see, all the lights are functional. This is how each and every alarm will look. System repair. System repair. Looks like Batman's signal light. <laughs> no, that's the normal one. <laughs> Hi, this is Rex. This is my electrical officer, electrotechnical officer on board. He's been a fantastic guy. <laughs> Hi, Rex. Rex, can you tell us some basic troubleshooting what we would see? Like the uh, fuse, if, if the fuse is blown or something, how do we look at the fuse? Uh, normally, we just uh, post this one function test and then it will uh, automatic sequence uh, in, in open inside and uh, inside more on some fun, some fuse, something like this one. Let's look at the fuse, it's, okay. Uh, so fuse blown, then we need can to check. Replace. So the, yeah, can okay, replace. so that's the basic one that we can do. Yeah, check for a blown fuse, or we can check if the connections in the terminal are loose. Yeah, I think that's it. Because uh, the lights are all uh, LEDs, unlike uh, some signal lights, yeah, only normal uh, bulb. bulb. So we need to check this one. If uh, uh, one light in one lamp is broken, it to change the whole uh, the whole PCB. system. Oh, it's a whole PCB, you mean? Yeah, PCB. Okay. Uh, okay, Rex. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Since Rex has showed us some basic maintenance, so let's head down to the engine room. So this is the one at the engine room platform. You can see that instead of the CO2, we have the foam here. This is one deck lower than the control room platform. Now we head into the workshop and at the bottom platform. This is the forward one of the bottom platform. And since this area of the bottommost platform is a little big, we have one at the aft end too. Thank you guys. Hope you learned something again. All right, so let's listen to this one one last time. She always cracks me up. System repair. System repair.